We've got original 1965 Chevrolet Impala. Original AM push button radio. Uh, we've gone completely through the case, redone the whole front end, painted all, polished up the chrome and the push buttons, all the knobs, everything's been completely redone on this one. We polished the lens, and we've done a Aurora design conversion on it. Uh, it now has AM FM stereo, auxiliary in, which is automatic. It has uh, four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got five pre-outs on it. I mean, three pre-outs on it, two for the rear speakers and a RCA rear, I mean, sub pre-out. So we're gonna run this uh, Servant Vega flat sub 10 inch. I like them. This is your dash speaker. It's a DVC stereo mounted back in the original mount. I gotta put a bracket here to get it in the car. And then I think we're going to do some more speakers somewhere else, but I haven't got that far yet. We're going to show you the radio, demonstrate it for you. If I can get the speaker set up like a little too. There we go. Right now you're on FM. Got all the push buttons working right, presets and all. You want to go to AM radio, just simply turn the radio off and right back on. You got a little operating LED right there, it changes red. We'll go to AM radio. There's 650 in Nashville. I'm Mike Terry. I am on the legend 650 AM W. Traveling base like you've always had. We are uh, about four away from three o'clock. Off and right back on takes you right back to FM stereo. You got a stereo light over here. It's kind of hard to see in that camera. But anyhow, every time you find a stereo channel, it'll light up for you. Just sent me an email. Get over here so I can crank it up a little bit. Your auxiliary in, because it also has a USB port, and this is the harness you'll be getting, comes with the mount. Auxiliary in here, USB here, thumb drive with your music on it. This will also charge your phone, your devices, and uh, you can plug a thumb drive in with all your favorite music. Push button operated, I'll, show, I'll demonstrate that for you. Right now we're going to do... Uh, the auxiliary in, show you how that works. You'll be getting a mail-to-mail -mail cord like this one. And all you do is take any device, MP3, phone, satellite, radio, whatever you want to, plug it in, just turn your device on, and hit play. Those little lights go on the green. That means you're on auxiliary in. Anytime you're on auxiliary in device <coughs> and you want to go back to radio, just simply turn your device off. In 20 seconds, the radio will automatically cycle back around to where we had it. Uh, if you want to cancel that out, just turn it off and back on during that 20 seconds. It remembers where you're at if you're on AM or FM. After the 20 seconds, if you cycle the power, you go from AM to FM. Change back over just like it's supposed to. You also have a built-in your toner. If you're going to hook up two speakers, you'll have balance built in your toner so you can go right to left. Uh, you're going to be running a DVC in the dash and, and possibly some more. You won't really have to worry about balance a lot because this one's so close together. And this is a full range, full cone stereo speaker, 160 watts. Uh, 
but we're going to demonstrate it for you how it works anyhow because you will need fader you'll probably want to bring in back speakers up and your sub you can actually tune it with the with the sub this is a 10 inch amp built in it and all real flat sub i like them i've been using them quite a while but anyhow balancing fader this toner's got a center notch on it you can feel it fall into it all you do is go to that center notch and we're gonna go into fader by going clockwise like a 12 to two motion, one, two. And uh, it's gonna beep, when it gets to beep, we're gonna be in the fader mode. As long as we're moving that toner control, we can fade from front to rear. And when we find the, where we like it, just stop moving it, it'll beep once and go back to toner. After that, we're gonna go into the balance mode, which is counterclockwise, like a 12 to 10 motion. It's gonna do the same thing. Let's check it out. There's your rear, there's your front. Bouncing back out, let it beat. Back on treble and bass. Now we're gonna go counterclockwise from the center, going to balance. One, two. Rights, lefts. Balance it back out, let it be. Back on toner. That's how you control your four speakers in a AM radio, which is pretty neat. Auxiliary in. Now I'll show you uh, the USB. Uh, you'll get one of these with some music on it, the files built on it, and this video will be on it. Uh, all you do is just plug it in and it goes straight to it. Notice your push button lights up, so if you want advanced, just press it once. it wants to advance now if you let the song go for just a little bit you want to repeat it or you want to back up to the song behind it just press it twice it'll repeat the song twice again we'll back you up let's go back to that song now a lot of people like to hide these, which you can put them in your glove box. You don't have to take this out unless you want to charge your phone or your devices. Or change out the stick, thumb drive, put more music on it. And uh, you can operate it off from this push button. You can hide it on the dash just so you know where it's at. Or in the dash so you can see it, either way. It's got a nut on it. Now if we want to go back to radio, all we do is hold this down one second, put this in pause. This is going to blink a couple times, along with that little LED inside there, now we're going right back to radio. Now we're back on radio. Now if you're down, if you're in pause for a pretty good while, it depends on how long you are, whether it goes back to the same song or not. But if you're not in pause very long, it'll go right back to that same song. All you do is just hold it down one second right back to it face plate turned out real nice on it back to radio one second so this can actually be hid where you don't even have to see it if you don't want to you can operate it all from the push button back on radio 
I'll go back to your stick one second and go right back to it. Now I'm going to show you the last feature of this radio, which is new for Aurora, and it's pretty neat. All you do, if you watch that little LED right there, we're going to take it and we're going to put it in the, in the seek and scan mode without the needle moving. We're going to go one, two, that little light gets to blinking. Now we're going to start scanning the stations. There's the next one. Now I'll show, I'll show you here in a minute how to stay on that channel if you like it or if you actually want to find it and preset it. We'll let it switch a couple more times. They get Stanford at home. They do have to go to Oregon and Utah, but they're just Let's let it go another time. Building opportunities for Washington, whereas we know with Auburn, like rock and roll. I say we like that song there. All we're gonna do is just turn it once. That little light's gonna get to flashing real quick. Now we can stay right there, or it'll let us find it. There it is. Pull out a preset. Got it. But if you turn it one time to start flashing, you like that station, just don't even mess with it. It'll stay right there on that one. Go back to normal, just like it always is. Allowing employees and management to suicide from If that's not just a curse, then I'll be something. That's your original, 1965 Chevrolet Impala. This one, the faceplate turned out nice on this one. It was kind of rough when I got it, but it, it turned out real nice. It looks like a brand new radio. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. AM FM stereo auxiliary in USB. Four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got pre-outs on it if you want to add an amp. And it's definitely got a pre-out on it to add a sub, because that's the one we're going to send with it. A little flat sub to high, 10 inch. I've got one in my bug. I really like it. And uh, I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.